Hey there, I'm SourceMake. Today I'm going to teach you about DLL files. We're going to make our own DLL file and we're going to go through an example of how to use that DLL file in a different project. So I've got my website open here and it's got all the details about DLL files. If you prefer to read or you need to know everything about DLL files, just click below this video and you can read this webpage. I also recommend just going through all the blog posts on this web page like this website because it's my website I'm going to be putting out like cool hacker tutorials coding stuff stuff like that you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel click the button below this video and I'm always putting out good content so what is a DLL file simply put a DLL file is a shared library so let's say you have some code that you like to reuse it's a really good library that you have and you want to use it in all your projects instead of adding the raw code to every single one of your projects you can compile that library into a file called a DLL file and you can give that DLL file to all your projects and just instead of adding it to the application itself you can just have the application call on the DLL file when it needs it so why would you use this well you've got the reasons listed here but I'll give you the two main ones the main one is that you can call the code on runtime and that's more efficient for memory and for file size the other reason that I like a lot that I read on Stack Overflow is that let's say we've got 10 projects that's all using a shared library we've got this let's say a math library that we want to use in 10 projects well instead of adding that math code to all 10 projects we could just give it the DLL file and the reason is let's say there's a mistake in one of our one of our functions in in the library instead of going into each of those ten projects and recompiling the entire project because of that one little mistake in the one library we could just recompile the DLL file and then just swap out the DLL file with the new one in each of those projects and not have to recompile the entire project at all that's like a really good reason so now that you know that let's go through an example of how to make a DLL file again if that seemed a little short you can read everything on this web page I'll keep it up to date and it'll be a really good resource so I've got Visual Studio open what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a DLL file in C sharp I'm gonna create a new project and it's gonna be a class library again a DLL is a shared library and you can see that the output is .dll that's great that's exactly what we want I'm gonna output in this in my work folder and let's call this my math library DLL pay attention to this name you'll see how this shows up later and Visual Studio is going to create the project and we've got a few things that we want to do the first thing is we're going to change this namespace to say let's call it my math library so that's the name of the namespace you'll see how that's used later and we're going to in this namespace we're going to create one class called calculator and inside of this calculator we want to add three functions let's let's have an add function public int add and we'll say int a int b and what do we want to do we want to return a plus b return a plus b so that's our add function let's make a multiply function multiply int a int b and we can return a times b of course and let's do one more what's this oh I forgot to say int we need to return something right and speaking of return let's return a void this time let's just have a void that says say hi accepts no parameters and what it does is it writes to the console hi there from source make so let's just do a quick recap before we build this we've got our project called my math library DLL inside of that project we've got this namespace called my math library and inside of this namespace we've got one class calculator which has three functions add multiply and say hi that's our library for now it's really simple but let's just keep it simple obviously you can build up from this if you want to have more complicated stuff so let's build this solution and I'm inside work I've got what is it what did we call this my math library my math library DLL and we go to bin debug and the output of this build was two files one of them is our DLL file which is perfect for us so we've got our DLL file and it's for our library right let's close the solution and let's make a new one so I'm gonna make a new project to use this DLL file really simple 
and all we need is a basic console app, nothing too fancy. And let's call it use my DLL file. So we're creating the project, simple console app. We don't need a namespace, so let's get rid of it. And yeah. So we've got our project set up. So this project wants to use the DLL file. Let's say like we were making a big project and we want to use something that we found on the internet. We search for a good way to use like some library, some function, and the internet says, hey, this library is really good at that. Why don't you use it? So what do you do? You add a reference to it. Basically, you get a DLL file from the internet and that's how you call it. So if that doesn't make too much sense, let's just say we found this DLL file from the internet. I'm going to copy this, copy, and let's go to our new project. Where is it? What is it called? Use my DLL file. Let's paste it here. And we're going to add a reference to this. Well, let me just repeat this. We've got my math library DLL file inside of our new folder. Let's pretend we add, got that from like the internet or something like that. We don't know where we got it, but we want to use it. Someone said that library was good. So we are looking for it to add it as a reference my math library DLL no it's use my DLL file and we added that reference to the project just like that we added the reference and now what that means is we can use a namespace which is my math library inside of this file and let me just write this out so, so we've got this my math library that means we can use the classes inside of it and what class did we have we had calculator and let's instantiate it. I'm going to repeat what all this does in a second. And let's call the add function. So calc.add. Again, I'll explain all of this in a second, but let's write it out. We'll call the multiply function. Not add. We want to use mult 5 and 10. That's what we want to multiply. And let's output that. So console.write line and we'll do add but it's an integer so we have to cast it to a string and let's do the same thing copy paste except we'll do this for mult and finally let's call calc dot say hi so what do we got here we've got a reference to our DLL file now in this project and inside of this particular file program.cs we're saying let's use the namespace my math library inside of this file. But what was inside of my math library? Well, we had this calculator class, right? So let's instantiate this calculator class so we can actually use the functions in it. And what do we do? We say calculator, let's call the function add on 5 and 10, store it into a variable called add. Let's call the multiply function for 5 and 10, store it into this variable called mult. And then let's output that to the console and also let's call the say hi function. So what do we expect? 5 plus 10 is 15, right? 5 times 10 is 50, and this should say hi there from source make. So let's build it, and now I'm going to press Control and F5 to debug, and 15, 50, hi there from source make. Simple. So just like that, we use a DLL file. So let me repeat everything one more time just for a quick summary. DLL files are shared libraries. Instead of giving someone or like having the library in the form of raw code you just compile it into a DLL file so that you can give the file to anyone and that's good for a number of reasons you can read it here again but basically you can use it at runtime and it's good because if you want to like change something instead of new projects having to recompile the entire code because you gave them the code you can just give it a new DLL file and it'll know just to use the DLL file you just have to change the DLL file so we made the DLL file, you saw that, with the C-Sharp Visual Studio project. And in our new project, to use it, we added a reference to the actual DLL file. You saw that the name, it was the name of the old project. Then the namespace, we use the namespace inside of our file, this particular file that we want to use. And we can use all the classes of that namespace, which we did use. We used the, we instantiated the class and we used the functions of that class. So just like that, we learned how to use the DLL file. So that's it. You know everything about DLL files now. If you want to use your own DLL files, I suggest you do. It's really good programming practice. If you like this content, please do check out this website and subscribe to this video so you can learn more and we can do other cool stuff together. So I'm SourceMake. Thanks for watching.